Good guys, Ron's Rides. I have the key to this 2018 Maserati Gran Turismo and it is currently dead. I'm gonna show you how to get your trunk open if your car is dead because that is where your battery is. That is where you're gonna to need to jump it. So for those of you who don't know, there's a way to pop the GT trunk when the battery is dead. I'm gonna show you that it's dead so I'll prove it to you by trying to start it. Um, even trying to unlock it, you'll be able to tell. And then I'm going to show you the way to open your trunk so you can get to your battery and jump it. So first we're going to try to unlock it and this is a way to know that the battery is dead. One of the ways. No noise, disarming, anything. Now it's already unlocked but if I were to try to lock it, nothing. Unlock it, nothing. So you already know you have a problem there. None of the electronics are working. So let's try to start it and see what happens. I'm going to step inside here. And we're gonna put the key in the ignition. Remember these cars for 2018 are still the older style key fob. So we're gonna do the pop inside, foot on the brake and twist, nothing at all. And I'll show you twisting. So now it locks the key in the car when the um, battery is dead. So it's stuck in the stock now. So we need to jump it, but we can't even get the trunk open from here. All right, so what you're gonna do, and I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but right here at the back seat, there's a little strap here, or shall I say a, a rip cord kind of like, if you would like to pull a parachute or something, and you pull on this, and this will open the latch for the trunk when everything is dead. So that's the main thing we need to do because we need to get to the battery. So if you didn't know about that, that is there. You know these cars tend to draw a lot of power when they sit for a minute. Um, you know they can sit for a week and be out of power if they're not sitting on a tender. That is the case here. So we're gonna pull this. You hear the click out, out back? Now, voila, the trunk is open. So now we need to jump it. So we're gonna pull this here. Take this full thing off here to expose the battery, which is hiding in the back here. After removing this cap, you'll see everything there on the battery as far as the terminals go. So we'll go grab our battery and give her a jump. All right. All right, now that it's plugged in, we'll give it a twist. There we are. Put this back on here. Put this down on here. Make sure that's in there. All right, so now that it's all started, essentially you're gonna want to let it run for a while just to keep the battery going. Um, we would normally take it for a drive just to help charge it a little bit. Um, but right now we're just gonna let it run for a little bit. It has plenty of gas in it. So we're gonna keep it going, but hopefully you guys learned something here today. I wanted to just show you anybody who is a GT owner or um, who is a, you know, future GT owner or just curious in general, wanted to know what happens when your battery die, how do you, how do you jump the car? Um, that is it. You will pull that lever in the back seat there to pop the trunk because you will have no electronics and that will open that up for you and then you just, you know, open your battery terminal cap and plug it in, jump the car. So, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. This has been Ron's Rides. Definitely give the video a like. Definitely subscribe and comment. Let me know if you guys like the video. With that said, guys, you guys have a great one. We'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.